I have wider hips, thicker thighs, and short legs. This is because my body shape lands somewhere between a pear shape and an hourglass. I tend to gain my weight first in my hips and then my thighs are a bit more on the muscular side. So because of this, I have mastered a few tips and tricks over the past decade in order to help me even out my proportions by emphasizing the areas I love and then de-emphasizing the areas that I want to fade into the background. So today I'm gonna to share with you five things that I now avoid when shopping in hopes that it helps you if you have a similar build to me. Number one, avoid jeans that have a light wash or heavy whiskering. A lot of people ask me, Bethany, what do you mean by whiskering? It's really just that when jeans are distressed or made to look worn they usually have these horizontal lines on them right near the top or like where you sit down on the hip so this is a really wonderful thing if you want to widen your hips visually but for those of us who already feel like this is our widest area then this is going to only exaggerate that so if you want to de-emphasize this area of your body to help even out your proportions then try to avoid anything with heavy whiskering designs designs on them or distressed jeans. As for the jeans themselves, it's true that a dark wash will slim, just like black is a very slimming color, but does that mean that you only have to wear dark jeans? No, it doesn't, but just try to keep them a bit darker than the top. If I'm wearing a top, I want my bottoms to be darker or the same color as my top. And this will make my top half look a lot more proportional and prominent, and it'll balance everything out. Number two, avoid hip length tops and jackets. So jackets that end at the widest part of my hips or you know where my legs begin that's going to emphasize that area as if i'm just drawing a line here and saying to everybody world here is the circumference of my hips look here so instead here's two solutions for this number one choose a length of jacket that is either cropped up or lands below this area. You want one or the other. So even a couple of inches below would be enough to soften that line. And don't be afraid as a petite even to wear long jackets and coats because that can be a very flattering look. Another option is to choose a jacket where the hem is curved or asymmetrical. This is going to soften that line again, but it still will be a little bit more widening than those other options. It just helps to know and navigate what you want to do. Number three, avoid loud bottoms. So pants and skirts with bold prints or bright colors are going to bring a lot of attention to your bottom half and this will be something that is trending right now but it will bring so much emphasis down below instead you want to make your goal to de-emphasize that area and then add those little sparks and statements into your wardrobe by purchasing items for tops your upper half add statements in bold colors up top and that will even out your proportions by visually drawing attention upward so that's a win-win number four avoid skirts and pants with a low waist you want to wear dresses or pants or skirts anything that's going to have a dividing line either by its design or you know obviously a pant will end right here a skirt will end right here if that is low waisted and you have wider hips that's going to bring attention and exaggeration to the hip width this also is going to stunt the length of the legs so if you have these curves on your bottom half it's best to visually highlight them by drawing out that leg length as far as possible so it's not that these looks are wrong for everybody it's just not what a lot of women want when you've got curvy hips so instead you can opt for a mid-rise or a high-rise jean and you always want to cinch at the waist and then tuck in your top at least in the front if not all the way around and then if you don't want to wear a high waist or you don't like tucking in your tops then my suggestion is to layer start by wearing a shorter top instead of tucking in your top and then it doesn't need to be cropped up but just shorter uh, and then layer by having a cardigan or a jacket and that's going to drop below the widest point of your hips which is another win number five avoid tight bottoms so things like pencil skirts or skinny jeans or tight shorts, um, leggings, anything that's going to cling to the thighs will make them look bigger than they are. So here again, it depends on what you want to emphasize. It just helps to know these things because clothes are just forming our bodies the way that we want them to look. And so it's really good to use intention here. And there's times when I wanna look like I have awesome lower half curves. There's nothing wrong with that and I think we can celebrate that. But over the past four years, I 
I have just opted for more standard straight leg pants, midi skirts, or mini dresses that are flowy, or skirts that fall just below my widest point, so they're not going to cling to me, but they're gonna drape, and that's gonna look really elegant. So by this, it's going to take emphasis off of my wider hips and my shorter legs, and instead it gives me so much confidence. So if you want more information about how to find your personal style or how to dress your body and highlight the areas that you want to um, just by choosing the right fabrics there, then you can take my six week program at dearlybethany.com and that's going to be my signature course and I am going to be closing enrollment for that just as we wrap up the year. So I don't want you to miss out and you'll get instant access to week one. And with that said, I'll see you in the next video.